Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we're going to be doing some more terminal pumpkin stuff here. Not pumpkin. Come on guys. And in this one I just wanted to talk about this one little quote. Well actually two quotes here. So I'm just going to read it to you. And this is V Vale again. So until we have a perfect world, I don't think punk will ever be dead or obsolete. Because it's so simple. The bar is so low. Anyone can do it. Anyone can start a band. Anyone can publish. And that right there is so fucking true, especially now. And when I say especially now, I just mean like anyone can publish anything now. But the reach you can get is so much greater than it ever was before. Whether it is music or your writing or anything like that. I think the problem that a lot of people have now is that since so many people can publish, so many people do it, whether it's music or um, written word or whatever. And because of that, there is a lot of stuff to sift through out there. And a lot of people not being very good at marketing or um, selling themselves have a really hard time trying to um, make any kind of living at it. Which, again, this is not what this is talking about. I'm just talking in general for writers or songwriters for that matter. And I was thinking about this and I was like going, yeah, that's true. Anybody could do this. Anyone like you have Amazon, you have computer programs, you have home printers, like anybody could do anything now. Like you could fucking post your poems on Instagram. Like people could do anything to get their message out, to get their word out. And so I did this video already where I was telling everybody to go out there and do it. Go out there and create. Go out there and do this because anybody can do it. And then while I was talking about it, while I was pitching this idea to you guys, okay, I talked myself out of it. Why did I talk myself out of it? Here's why. The paragraph before this also says, we want a permanent rebellion and we want permanent dissatisfaction with the status quo. But it's got to have black humor. Someone's upset outside. Oh, he's holding a crack pipe. Yeah, he, he's talking to himself. He's very upset. He's holding his hand out like this, holding a crack pipe and screaming at it. So, he might have got burned. Um, anyway. So, it's got to have black humor in it. And um, this has been a big thing. Um, in this book, but also it's got me really thinking about it because, um, there were a lot of bands who took themselves very seriously and I don't think those bands, like they didn't really have a message. They didn't have anything to say. I um, spent a lot of time last night listening to a bunch of albums that I used to listen to and kind of going through them and noticed how certain albums I kind of fell out of favor with, even though I used to listen to them all the time. But then there's others that, um, to this day, I still listen to all the time. And I think a lot of it is, is because, A, they had something to say, but B, they were able to kind of poke fun at themselves or poke fun at the problem. And the ones that were very serious um, didn't really stick with me long term. It was like once that period was over, like it wasn't fun to listen to that anymore. And I'm not saying that everyone needs to do everything that V Vale says in Terminal Punk. I'm not saying that at all because, again, I think a lot of this is, um, like, one of the great things about punk is that there are no rules. Anyone can do whatever they want. Um, and he even says there are no rules, but there are rules, if you get what I'm saying. 
So when I was going over that and I was thinking about this, especially in today's age, I don't think there I don't think people can be self-deprecating enough to do this now. I don't like and you're like, "Oh, bullshit." And I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, "Well, there are quite a few like TikTokers and shit like that that make themselves look stupid on a daily basis and it's funny and so maybe they can." But so many people are so fucking serious on Twitter and on fucking YouTube and on fucking um, Instagram. Like everything is fucking life or death and everything is the most serious fucking thing in the world. And so I was thinking about that and I'm like, is that more of just the the rule of amenity when you're on social media that you can do things without any fucking like consequence really so people feel like they need to be the moral compass and the the monitor of all things i don't know so basically when i was doing this video before i like started getting into this and i was like oh god this is a horrible idea these people shouldn't be allowed to do anything <laughs> Oh, fuck me. So basically, all I'm trying to get at is the bar is so low. It really, really is. Like, all the people who, like, started punk bands back in the day, none of them knew how to play anything. And there were bands that I was in where there were people I just wanted to be in a band with because I really enjoyed them. And so I taught them how to play the songs that we were going to play and in doing that, they ended up learning how to play. You know what I'm saying? So it is really important to be around like people you want to be around. It um, creates a, a sort of union, like a a brotherhood or a sisterhood or a whateverhood. I guess it's like a tribal thing. It like makes what you're doing feel more important when. Um, you have other people along with you for the ride. I don't know. Just like, don't, don't take it so seriously. You have things that you want to achieve. You have, um, things that you want to tell people that you want to get out there. Even if you don't have access to be able to make eBooks, um, and you don't have access to a printer and you don't have access to any of the stuff. If you have access to a fucking Sharpie, and a piece of paper, like write something down and steal some tape and tape it around a freaking light post, you know, like that's getting your stuff out there. That's how you do it. But the most important thing is to do the thing. Don't think about it. Don't like go, oh, I can't wait till I could do this or one day I'm going to learn how to do this just do the thing. The best way to learn something, learn how to do something is to fail at it miserably over and over and over again. And sometimes you'll luck out and you won't fail at all. And you'll like nail it the first time and you'll go, Oh shit, that was fucking brilliant. I wonder if I could do that again. But like you just need to do the thing you know, whatever it is, if you've always wanted to, I don't know if I talked about it in this video or, um, another video recently, but if there's something you want to do, cause like I have people ask me like, how do I write songs? How do I make movies? How do I write books? How do I write a poem? How do I do any of these things? The simplest answer in the world is you just do it and you just keep doing it. And you pick up things along the way. That is the best way to fucking do anything. I mean, that's pretty much how I've done everything. Like, I don't have any formal training and shit, you know? Um, so if you want to use me as a fucking the bar, it's really fucking low, guys. I guess at the end of the day, do what you can because it is so easy to do those things now. Um, but just from somebody sitting back watching from the sidelines don't take yourself so seriously you know 
It's okay to be a little self-deprecating. It's okay to use a little of the gallows humor, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Um, everything's cool. Like, we, we will probably be judged by our actions more than our words, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right. So um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know down below. Um, now that you know that um, you don't need um, any formal training for anything, the Poetic Anarchy class is coming up. <laughs> so make sure you hit the join, um, uh, become a member on the channel, and um, in, it is this month now, so um, in just a couple weeks. We're going to be starting the Poetic Anarchy course. And um, Poetic Anarchy Volume 2 is coming. Um, I'm hoping this week to have a video up for that so you guys could take a look at it and see what's in it. Um, and the Blood Rag. Oh, let me just say this real quick. The Blood Rag. Um, I got a lot of submissions. And um, I pretty much loved everything that was sent in. Um, if I haven't gotten back to you yet, I will be getting back to you in the next few days. But I think how it's going to go right now, um, this issue's full, and I have enough for the next issue. If I could keep that going to where there's always another issue worth of stuff from submissions, that that's amazing. That's going to be great. So this week, too, um, we'll get a look at that. So um, I hope you guys are all well, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.